Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Hey, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on your bell notifications, that way you get notified when I actually post the video. Look at this. A 550i GTM. Yeah, I know. Like, what are people thinking? Seriously. That was rather interesting. Uh, I, I see them quite a bit, in a way. People put M badges on cars that should not have M badges just because it is not an actual M car. Maybe M Sport, but it's a little bit different of a story uh, with that, especially on the outside. So there's a difference between there. So what I wanted to talk about today is really utilizing your JB4 to track issues prior to having a check engine light. So not always you're going to have a check engine light or service engine soon light, two different things, uh, come up when you technically ha would have an issue. That doesn't always happen. So what I'm going to show you today and just really kind of help ingrain in you is that you can utilize your JB4 when you're logging and stuff like that. That kind of helps to see how your car is doing overall. But there's a few things that you can just tell right off the bat as far as uh, what could be, you know, what could be wrong with your car. I was like, oh, I have a, a weird idle here or, you know, I have this or I have that. Or, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, well, you're... It's your high pressure fuel pump, it's your low pressure fuel pump, it's this, it's that. A lot of guessing goes on with uh, BMW troubleshooting, which you know you never want to guess when it comes to these cars just because you will usually always fail because sometimes it may be that, but it also may be a couple other things at the same time. So really, you know, essentially as in, you know, so I have the JB4 obviously, and I also have the JB4 Connect Kit. What you do is you go into your actual uh, phone, make sure you're connected to at least to the car, that way it's getting power, and you go in, open up your actual app, the JB4 app, and then that way you can actually connect right to the car. So the car's running. So some things to like kind of look for, right? IATs, water temp, high pressure fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump, AFR and AFR2. So as you can see it right there. So those are actively working right now. Let's say you have an issue and you don't have any codes or whatever be the case. So the high pressure fuel pump right here that has a five, that should be five at idle. So I'm at idle currently right now. So when you actually go full throttle or put some load onto the engine, uh, it's actually going to uh, bump up to probably about 12 or so and 12 to 13 so that's another cool thing as far as so you can tell what is uh what is working and what is not working to be the case so uh, that's something good to look out for so if you are lower than five at idle then you have a problem with your high pressure fuel pump plain and simple uh if you are under full throttle and you're only getting five or six under full throttle and you should be 12 13 or higher give or take right there then you have a problem with your high pressure fuel pump uh your low pressure fuel pump the pressure cannot if the pressure ranges from like 55 to 65 right here so my fuel pressure lower underscore L so that's your lower fuel pressure uh, fuel pump uh, that mine's currently at was it at 66 66 is pretty common for mine right now and uh, if it drops below 50 when you're under full throttle and it gets kind of low in there and that means your pressures are dropping too fast and you have a problem with your low pressure fuel pump. Now if you are running an ethanol mix this is very helpful so that way you can actually see when you need to cut off of your ethanol mix based on the low pressure fuel pump uh, PSI that it's reading out for you on the JB4 right here. Uh, AFRs uh, 1 and 2 so that's bank 1 and 2 you're gonna it's gonna target 14.7 ultimately uh, give or take right around there. Now if you are coming off of the gas you will notice that they will both go to 20 that way that, that, that's the reason why the DME shuts off the fuel and then uh, and it reads 20. As soon as you hit back on the gas again everything goes back. Same goes for the lower pressure fuel pump. Uh, it'll it'll kind of spike to high range. It's not doing anything and then it'll come back off of that. So that's something right there. So the many things that you can actually change here with uh, what you're actually physically working on it's essentially as holding it down just like that and really it is scrolling through the multiple options that right there so you can pick something different we can go 
Uh, let's see here. You can go to map just for illustration purposes. You got the map. Hold down the icon again. Now you can do these with all any all six icons right here. Let's say we want to go to oil temp. So there's your oil temp readout right there. So that's nice. Just about ready to warm up fully. You have your G-force meter. So you got G-force right there. Now all this is being logged when you actually create a log. So just kind of FYI right that. You don't have to try to check on everything. Uh, you have uh, boost right here, which is another kind of feature that a lot of people like to have. I have the boost on here, so I don't really need to see it actually on my phone, but something cool to actually have on there. Uh, you can, I'll go back to IETs because I like to know just what the temperature is, if I'm getting a lot of heat soak or not. So you got that, and of course, uh, your logs right here, this is where you'll actually see, when you go CSV, this is where you can actually see all the listings that you have right there so many cool things that you can do with just the jb4 displays just like this and also just creating a log and checking everything if you check all those parameters uh, there is a guide that will walk you through each one of those and i'll put a link in the description that takes you to that and that's what means a lot of this thing so you create a log and then that way you can actually go through and review everything so really guys it's as simple as that it makes it easy so that way you can trace issues before you even have a check engine light uh, a lot of the times your bmw will not trigger certain things uh, just yet uh, sometimes it will sometimes it won't it's it's real kind of finicky anyway but this is an easy thing to really just see how your car is doing even though you think it's actually working perfectly fine. Thanks for stopping in yet again. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.